Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft's new PC Manager Optimizer app, as I've posted on previously, is an app that's very similar to the likes of CCleaner and other PC optimization apps that basically allows you to perform um, you know, basic computer maintenance and speed up your device with a single click by using the boost button. And uh, um, as I have mentioned previously, uh, it is in public beta. And although it is in public beta, Microsoft has been regularly rolling out um, upgrades to the app. And if you want some more uh, info, um, you can just do a search on the channel as I have posted a couple of videos previously. Now, um, just to let you know that if we head over to the settings, uh, the app has received an update, which is now bumped up to version 1.2.7.1. And um, it's on a controlled rollout. I'm only seeing this uh, this bold upgrade uh, to the app on my Windows 10 device and not on my Windows 11 device. And um, the version prior to this was 1.2.6.3. And as mentioned, now it's been bumped up to 1.2.7.1. And uh, um, a feature that was rolled out uh, in the last video I did post on the PC Manager app was the Smart Boost. And I'll leave a link to that in the description, which will automatically, um, if you enable the option, boost your PC when there is high usage of RAM or there are one gigabyte of temporary files. Now, over and above that, just to let you know that with this uh, version and build upgrade that I have noticed recently, um, we have one or two new changes. And the first is um, there is a new um, Microsoft PC Manager pop-up plan, which you have the option to opt in or opt out. But if we click on that link, basically what that's doing is uh, you can take screenshots of pop-ups that you don't want to see but can't close and then Microsoft says you can send them the screenshots to help um, optimize the pop-up management feature of Microsoft PC Manager. So that's basically just a feedback option for them to develop that pop-up uh, feature um, in the uh, in the app by opting in or opting out um, of that uh, PC Manager pop-up plan. So, and that's the first change. And then if we head over to the security, um, another interesting new a feature that has rolled out is the taskbar repair, restore taskbar appearance. And if we click on that, um, we get two options available presently. Um, it says you can restore default toolbars, and I haven't made any changes, so there's no toolbars, uh, other toolbars enabled. And then you can enable default features, like you can enable by checking the box, enable Microsoft Store on the taskbar. And that will pin the Microsoft Store uh, to the taskbar, which is basically a default feature in the operating system by clicking on repair. And over and above, uh, restoring default toolbars and placing the um, Microsoft Store um, icon in the taskbar, I don't think there are any other um, you know, options it will actually repair, other issues it will repair, it just seems to be those two. So just a basic uh, repair option for the taskbar. And as mentioned previously, um, a lot of these so-called uh, cleaning tools and options available in the app are not new features and new cleaning options per se. Um, they just point to existing features that are buried in the operating system like Windows Update and Browser Protection and uh, the pop-up management as I did post on previously and uh, your health check and your storage management and process management and maintaining your startup apps. But as mentioned, just do a search on the channel if you want any more info and just letting you know it's received an update and um, that new taskbar repair has rolled out with this new version and build upgrade. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.